Bonjour. My name is Tom Pentefuentes, and I'm Vice Chairman Broadcasting at the Canadian Radio and Television and Communications Commission. It is a great honor for me to talk to you about the Canadian experience as it relates to gender equality in radio. Since its beginnings, radio has had a considerable impact on Canada. Canada is an extremely large country with cities scattered across a continent. Our coastline borders the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Radio is a tremendously efficient means of communicating to convey important information quickly across vast swaths of land. It is also an ideal medium to showcase culturally relevant content, such as music, to a diverse population. Even in today's digital world, radio continues to enjoy a special relationship with audiences. No other media can be this local and this global simultaneously, which is why in addition to popular appealing commercial radio stations, we put special emphasis on fostering community, campus, ethnic and Aboriginal radio stations to give voice to local communities. Recognizing the role of radio in Canadians' lives, our Commission has put in place rules and guidelines to ensure that Canada's democratic values, including gender equality, are respected on our airwaves. To uphold these values, we rely on the industry, the radio station's owners and operators, we support and enforce the industry-led Equitable Portrayal Code, which prohibits unduly negative portrayal and stereotyping of gender roles and the airing of degrading material. The Code also discourages the use of derogatory and inappropriate language. It is forbidden for a Canadian broadcaster to make abusive comments on the air that expose groups of individuals to hatred or contempt on the basis of gender or sexual orientation. There is a broad spectrum of corrective measures that the CRTC can take in cases of non-compliance with these rules, up to and including revoking a broadcasting license. Today, 46% of persons employed in Canada's radio sector are women. However, this does not quite represent the percentage of the Canadian population who are women, and there is still room for improvement to reach true equality. Our objective through all this? The Commission wants to ensure that Canadians have access to a world-class communication system. This means having access to a wide variety of high-quality Canadian programming which informs and entertains Canadians of all ages, origin and gender. Of course, this also includes radio programming that is free from gender stereotypes. En cette journée mondiale de la radio de l'UNESCO, il me fait grand plaisir de joindre ma voix à tous ceux et celles qui célèbrent aujourd'hui l'importance de ce média dans la vie de milliards d'humains et son impact sur le respect des droits fondamentaux dont font partie le respect et l'égalité des genres. Au nom de tous mes collègues du Conseil de la radiodiffusion et des télécommunications canadiennes, bonne journée mondiale de la radio.